what are seven chords seven chords are basically just our regular triads but with added personality and not just with seven chords uh, but basically whenever you're adding an additional note to your triad depending on the relation of that note to the root of your chord you're basically adding extra personality so depending on what type of triad you have and what type of note you have added you will have different chords if you've seen my last video i've uh, talked about triads but if you have not i would um, recommend you go watch that video first and then come back because um, you'll need that video to understand this video so i'm going to start explaining seven chords uh, one by one you have different type of seven chords by the way uh, i'm gonna start naming them one by one and tell you how we make them and you can see on your own how just um, changing one note uh, in a chord could um, could change the personality and uh, the name of that chord so first off we are starting with major seven major seven is basically just a major triad with an additional major seventh interval of the root so So if I want to tell you the formula, it would be root, major third, perfect fifth, and major seventh. And, and this is how we write down a major seventh. Now let's keep the major triad and let's change the seven chord. Now this time, instead of a major seven, let's play a flat seven. So you can feel that instead of... Um, getting the happy vibe now you're getting some kind of uh, negative ish vibe it's not as positive as um, major seven but still it's not sad or negative it's something in between this chord is called um, a dominant seven so this would be a c dominant seven the formula for dominant seven is root major third perfect fifth and flat seven and this is how you write down a dominant seven next up is minor seven so this time we're going to actually change the triad now instead of playing a major third let's play a minor third so it's gonna sound like something like this even though I'm playing a minor triad but just adding that uh, seventh note it takes the sadness away it's not it's definitely not happy but at least to me it's um it's not sad at all and this is how you write down your minor seven now let's change the chord even more now this time instead of playing a perfect fifth let's play a diminished fifth we call this chord a minor seven flat five and the and the formula for it is root, minor third, diminished fifth, and um, flat seven. So, for example, this is going to be a C minor seven flat five because it's a minor seven, but you have, um, but instead you have a flat five instead of a perfect fifth. So, minor seven flat five. And this is how you write down your minor 7 flat 5 so the next two chords that I'm going to talk about they're not uh, 7 chords but they're really close to 7 chords um, and since we are talking about uh, different type of 7 chords uh, I would like to mention those two as well uh, how you would make a major 6th chord is it's basically by uh, playing a major triad so for example a C major and what you want to do is add a major sixth interval uh, of the root. So this is the major sixth. This is the triad. This is the this is the major sixth chord. And the formula again is root major third perfect fifth and major sixth. And this is how you write down your uh, major sixth chord. Now similar to uh, major sixth, minor sixth is uh, kind of the same. What you want to do is uh, play a minor triad instead of a major one so C minor and then add a major sixth interval and you'll get the 
minor sixth chord. So the formula is going to be root, minor third, perfect fifth, and the major sixth. And this is how you write down your um, minor sixth. Now let's keep the minor triad. And this time let's add a major seventh. So a major seventh for C would be B. So for example, this is a major seventh. And then we have a minor triad here. We play them together and this is what it's gonna sound like. We call this chord a minor major seventh chord. So the reason for the name is uh, you're playing a major seventh interval over a minor triad. So for example, this is a C minor major seventh. The formula for this chord is root minor third perfect fifth and major seventh. And this is how you write down your uh, minor major seventh chord. So the sus4 triad, this is how it sounds like. It's a root uh, with a perfect fifth, and then instead of playing a third, you play a perfect fourth. Yeah. So imagine you add a flat seven to this chord. This is how it's gonna sound like. And the formula for it is root root a sus chord. So you could either play the sus2 or the sus4 and then the perfect fifth and then uh, flat seven and we and we call this chord a um, sus4 seven and this is how you write down your sus4 seven chord so next in the list we have the augmented sevens so what was an augmented chord the augmented chord is basically just your regular triad but instead of playing a perfect fifth what you do is you play a uh, augmented chord. So what you do is uh, you play an augmented fifth. And now if you add a major seventh to this chord, it's gonna be called um, the augmented major seven chord. And then instead of playing a major seventh, if you play a flat seven, it's gonna sound like this. And we call it a augmented seventh. The formula for the uh, augmented major seventh chord is root major third augmented fifth and uh, major seventh. You could also play this chord like this, in which case you need to play a flat seven instead of a. That was about it. This was the, the video about the seven chords. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something new today. If you did, please um, subscribe to my channel. Please like this video and let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions for you. But until next time, um, thank you for watching and have a good one.